Hi everybody, I'm back and I have a quick review on um, some new, actually not really new, but a couple new Lush products. Um, so yeah, these are more of the bath melts. Um, so yeah, let's get going. This, I know this isn't my normal ginormous um, bag, but as you guys can see, I have I haven't reviewed. I have like six or seven of these full for my new subscribers, and then. Yeah, they're on the floor. There's four of them, and then, yeah, I've got this. These are from, from uh, Feeling Smitten. They're really cute. I need to review these. So, yeah, I have a lot of re stuff to review. And then I have Fortune Cookie Soap, and yeah. But anyway, let's get going with this. Um, the one thing with these are, if you're in a hot climate, you need to get these home right away, or they will melt. They are so soft. It's crazy. I mean, it is just absolutely crazy. So, the first one I wanted to do was, um, and I have two of these. This one's the Youth in Mangoed. This one smells awesome. Um, they look tiny, but it smells like lime, um, and they go right in the jetted tub, and they make the water so soft. The only thing is, you cannot do a bath cocktail with these because it really, if you throw in a um, like a bath bomb, it messes up the oils. So you have to use these alone. Now, it depends on what size tub you have. And if you like to conserve your product, I like to throw it all in because I have so much stuff. But um, you can cut it in half and it's no problem. Just warm the knife up. I would just warm the knife under the water so it doesn't crack. And just cut it in half. You could probably use it, I don't know, two or three times. But it has a little something on the inside. So yeah, excuse my sniffles. He's got the air conditioning on like, I don't know, 42 or something. I'm kidding. So yeah, good old Kleenex. At least they're handy dandy cute uh, flamingo Kleenex. Anyway, so then I did get a new bath bomb. This one's called Lava Lamp. Haven't tried it yet. I will do a bath cocktail. I haven't done many of them in our jetted tub just because I had surgery and you know how they tell you not to get your incision wet. Well, anyway, so I can finally take baths again. So, here is the lava lamp. It has a little polka dot. We take it out without getting powder everywhere. And then I'm going to show you guys how to break these in half without cracking them. It's very, very simple. You just need a sharp knife. I'll have to take them in the kitchen or I'll bring a cutting board in here. And it's really simple. If you guys want to conserve your bath bombs without breaking them into a million pieces, I can show you how to break it completely in half where it's just a clean cut. So I'll do that probably on my next video with some of my bath bombs. So there's that lava lamp. A lot of the the bath melts are 350, probably just because they're smaller. There's that one. And then my favorite one is the Ravel Dazzle Bath Oil. Now um, this one is so oh my gosh, I can hardly pick it up and it's melted in the bag and we keep our air conditioning on all the time. Wow, it is so yeah, I haven't tried it yet, but look at that. It is gooey, ooey, soft. I can't imagine. And it smells fabulous. Yeah, so it's obviously pink. I'm a little worried what it's going to do to our, <clears throat> excuse me, what our, what it's going to do to our new jetted tub. But there are a lot of good, like, Clorox products that you can t use to get this out. So, yeah. But I can hardly hold it. It's just really slick. So there's lot razzle, <clears throat> excuse me, razzle dazzle bath oil. That was three fifty. <clears throat> Let me wipe my hands off since see it leaves a little. Yeah. But it makes your skin soft. And then I have I got a new soap. 
like I was dying when I saw this. I was like, oh my gosh, that reminds me of Christmas. And it looks like pomegranate on the inside. This one is called Maypole. And it was $5.93 for this little tiny slice. I mean, it, that is tiny. But this soap, I hate to open it, but it's got to be used. And I've had this for about a week, but um, just been very busy. And so, yeah. It's, it smells a lot like Rockstar. It reminds me of Christmas. Is what it, it reminds me of Christmas. Straight up Christmas. So if you guys haven't seen this, it comes in like big, that's why they call it maypole, I'm sure, I don't know. And it's, it's supposed to be like, it's supposed to smell like maple syrup. I don't smell it. I smell rock star on the, that's the pink. But here's what it looks like. It's beautiful. Yeah. And wow, the inside smells like spearmint, the green. And the outside smells like a mixture of mint and rock star, if you can imagine that. But it seems like an awesome soap. Now, I was going to get a huge chunk, and this is really expensive. Let me see how much it is a pound. Thirty-one twenty a pound. So, yeah, I said, um, I think I'll just take a little slice for now and try it. I mean, what if I didn't like it? I'm sure there's not too many Lush products I haven't liked. So there's that. I'll wrap it up in a minute. And then here is one of the new funds. Now, this one is obviously rainbow. You guys can all figure that out. Um, so yeah, this one is, you can, it's got orange, yellow, green, blue, pink, purple, and this, I'm not sure what color this one on the end is. So yeah, it's like a bright peach. And then there's orange, yellow, green, blue, purple. It'd be cute for kids to play around with. It is a very, very, very big, um, it says cheery, lot, cheery, I don't have my contacts in, so sorry. Cherry lime oil mingles with calming fair trade vanilla chamomile for purely blissful pure perfume. Paint the whole world with a rainbow. So there's that. I have a million of these, a million and one of these. So I'm going to start making animals. I might as well while I'm in the Jetta tub. It's crazy, but yeah. <laughs> and then... Here is a, this one I cannot for the life of me. I think this one's called Dream Time. Um, you're supposed to use it at night. It has chamomile in it. Um, I had already had this. I threw this in the bag. I have not reviewed this. So I wrapped it in some saran wrap. Yeah, saran wrap. So the back doesn't look real pretty, but. Ooh, whoops. So that's what it looks like. I'm glad I didn't shut my computer off like I did last time. So there's that. It has a Z on it. And then here is, this is Floating Island. And I wrapped this one up. And this is another bath oil. So, yeah, this is kind of like a bath oil review. So, except for that one bath oil. Here is, so those are all three fifty. So if you don't have a lot of money and you want to go into Lush, that would probably be the best thing to buy is, um, Instead of the seven, eight, and eight dollar um, bath bombs, you could buy a bunch of bath oils. And for the summertime, it's perfect because your skin is so stinking dry. I've been using that self tanning stuff. I will review that. It's amazing. You can tell this does not look like a phony tan either. It's it's the Jergens um, self tan stuff. Although this morning I noticed my face was looking a little orange, so I had to put foundation on, which I did not like. This is one of my favorites, one of my absolute favorites. I love this. Strawberry feels forever. It smells so good. I just die. I love this stuff. It smells so good. So it, this is one of the only products Anthony will let me rub on his back. This and Hottie. 
because Hadi, uh, when he gets a backache, it helps. But I just love this stuff. Oh my gosh, it's expensive. Now this one isn't really bright pink. It's almost white, but it's fine. I always, I always want to find the one that's the best looking in the pile. So yeah, Star Refills. That's what she wrote on the bag. So I thought it was Strawberry Fields Forever. Maybe they changed the name. Not sure. Okay, and then there's one or two, three, two. Oh, and then I had a sample of this. I used this. I got it for Anthony's head. It's called Prince Shaving, and I used it on my legs. This stuff is amazing. I don't care if it's a man's product. I will buy it again. Now they have the pink. Um, what's it called? It's shaving stuff for women. But this is amazing. My legs were so soft. And I used the entire jar on both legs. <laughs> it doesn't suds up. I got it for his head because he shaves his head. Guys do that. If they start balding a little bit here, they're like, I'm taking the whole thing off. I can't believe that. But anyway, he looks good with a bald head. So, yeah. Prince shaving is what it's called. And it doesn't have much of a scent to it. It just smells like lotion. But it is a very good product. Quite expensive, but it's a good, good, good product. I would buy it again, definitely. So there's that. And then my last product is Melting Marshmallow Moment. And I haven't tried this either. This is a bath oil. How to use a bath oil. It says allow... Allow oil to melt in warm bath water. Do not apply directly to skin as staining may occur. That's why I'm worried about our bathtub. Yeah. Because these are very bright. So if I ruin a $7,000 jetted tub, I will be in big trouble. So I might take a little corner out and try it in the water or just fill it up to the rim. I'm not quite sure. Or use our cheaper tub. I don't know. I don't know. So anyway, there's melting marshmallow moments. A mel melting marshmallow moment. So, now the rest of them, oh, they do have that staining, may stain. Wow. So yeah, this whole bag of stuff was, just so you guys know, $61. Yeah. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this review. If you have any questions, um, I can go ahead and give me a shout. I will get back to you. Um, I will post these on Instagram. I have tons of lip products from that I did not even get through from Ma from Mac, Urban Decay. Um, Macy's had all their Urban Decay half off. I have tons of Urban Decay I haven't reviewed, haven't tried. Yeah, there they all are. So, and then over here, I need to review all of these soaps that I have not reviewed. These are from Lush. Some are from, a lot of them are from my friend at, um, oh my gosh, I should know. She's one of my really good friends from Bomb Cosmetics. So she sent me a bazillion soaps, and then a lot of them are from Lush. You can tell which ones are from Lush because of the way they're cut. So I have a bazillion soaps here that I need to review. This one, the green one, is from Bomb Cosmetics. So yeah, there they all are. And then there's one more here. So... I hope you guys enjoyed this. I will be back later with another review. My favorites. I have tons, tons, and tons. I'm doing the cutest. It is so cute. It's a secret garden where you take a big tub outside and it's got plants and I'm putting a fountain and a waterfall in it with a little toadstool. It's really, really cute. It's going to be really expensive, but the water is going to circulate back up through the, the hose. It's almost like a hospital tubing and it'll have a small pump and it'll have like a little almost like a little lake at the bottom with I have moss that goes around it, little trees that I've been collecting. Um, and then I'm gonna have just like a little toadstool 
and then a little toad. Nothing too cluttered. And it's a, a metal pan, pan that's going to lay on its side. And it's going to be so cute. It's my going to going to be my little secret garden. I was going to put it in the front, but I'm afraid somebody will steal it. So I'm going to put it in the back. And then I need to review what I've done with our backyard. It is beautiful. So anyway, it's on my Instagram if you want to look at it. Anyway, thank you for watching. I will see you all later. Have a great evening. And yeah, keep watching. I have a lot of stuff to go over. It's all on that back table. So. Um, interior decorating, a lot of, of just tons of stuff. So I will see you all later and give me a couple days to get you guys all checked in, resubscribed. And I will see you all later. Have a good night. Thanks for watching. Bye.